Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start by giving our praise, our honor, our glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful Allah Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And in this lesson, the title uh, is going to be entitled, uh, E is the Cancer of the Earth. You see, because when you really sit down and look at what's happening, understand what's going on through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the earth is in the condition that it's in because of Esau. You see, which is the so-called white race beginning with the elite. The reason that everyone is mourning, the, the reason that everyone is sighing and crying, you know, they're talking about how hard it is to live now, how uh, wages are staying the same, but everything else is rising. All these things are being caused by the wicked. This is how we know who's in rulership. These are signs the most I would, uh, has given unto us to determine who's in rulership right now. So we're going to start here in Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You see that? Now, when we look into the earth, do we see people rejoicing? No. Now, they put on the facade as if they're having a good time, but people are miserable, man. More miserable than, they, they, than they've ever been in human history. And why is that? It's because the righteous are not in authority. The righteous being who? The Israelites beginning with our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Once again, all you see, all up and down in the earth, all up and down uh, uh, the internet is people complaining. You see? About everything, man. And why is that? It says what? But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. This is this is how we know who's in power. The wicked are in rulership because what? The people are mourning, man. Everyone is sick. Everyone is depressed. Suicide is at an all-time high. Suicide amongst children is at an all-time high. The homicide rate is at an all-time high. Uh, the, uh, the divorce rate and STD rate and the... Uh, Everything is at an all-time high right now, man. And it's all because of the wicked. It's all because the because of the wicked elite of Esau Edom. Because they've thrown everything out of course on the earth because they are not following the righteous ways of the Most High. You see that? They've given everyone liberty to, to just do whatever they want to do. And that's not beneficial to mankind, man. And we see the results of it. People are more confused than they've ever been. Once again, they're sicker in the head than, they, than they've ever been. You got men out here actually commute, uh, mutilating themselves, talking about they want to become a woman. You got women doing the same thing, cutting their breasts out, talking about they want to become men. All of this is happening up under the wicked, man. And these people are not happy. You see? Road, road rage is intensifying. You walking through the aisles of, this, of the stores, all you hear people complaining about the prices. People are sick. It's all because what? The wicked are bearing rules, so the people are mourning, man. And why? Because it goes on to tell us right here in uh, Psalms. Yep, 82. And verse 5, it says what? They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. And that's exactly what's happening. Everything that the Most High ordained to be right from the beginning, Esau has come and basically dismantled it. He's dismantled the, the order of the household. You see, where they've cast the men out of the houses. And now the women are the head of the household. That's not, how the, that's not the order the Most High set up. And this is why you have so many single mother families. Because the order of the Most High has not been followed. It's the man, it's the woman, then the child. 
Or let me do it like this. It's the Most High. It's the Lord Yahweh Shai, the man, the woman, and the child. And that's being completely dismantled here up under Esau. And this is why you have so much uh, divorce happening, which 80% of that is initiated by the woman because she feel like she's in control when she's not. That's not her place to be leading anyone except for the children. That's out of course. The way food is cultivated is out of course. How uh, these th these different relationships or men having relationships with men and women having relationships with women, that's out of course. That's not what the Most High intended it to be. The financial institutions, the school and everything is out of course. You see? It's because what? Once again, it's because the wicked are bad rule. They, they are the problem of the earth. This is why every, the, the majority of the earth is walking on in darkness. I hate just eating whatever they want to eat. Conducting themselves however they want to conduct themselves. And that's the, that's the philosophy, uh, philosophy of Esau. Do as thou wilt. Do whatever you want to do. As long as it pleases your flesh, it makes you feel good, do it. And that's not how it's supposed to be. And once again, this is why we see death running rampant in the earth, man. Once again, this is why we see so much adultery going on, so many divorces going on, so many people dying of health issues. All this is happening because what? The, the way the most high intended things to be, to be run on the earth is not happening up under the wicked. They've completely cast away the ways of righteousness to, 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 have, to allow everybody to, to just live however they want to live. Live your own truth. And that's completely off, man. Everyone is sick and it's all because of the wicked, man. Matter of fact, let's get Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. And we'll start at verse 1. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people. How will he instruct his people? Through, through the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. A wise judge wouldn't tell a man that he can be a woman. Or a woman that he can be uh, that she could be a man. That's not that's not wisdom. That's not wise judgment. <laughs> a wise judgment is not a woman divorcing her husband and taking 50% of his of his uh, uh his possessions, man. That's not wisdom because according to the law. If a, if a woman leaves her husband, she leaves with nothing, according to what the Most High set up. But here in this wicked system, you could play in the NBA for fucking 20 years, and your woman decides to leave you, and she can live half of everything that you've put your blood, sweat, and tears into when she ain't did shit. Ain't, ain't shot one jump shot, ain't did not one layup drill, you see? Don't know one fucking... Offensive play, or whatever it may be, man. You work, you are here working hard, busting your ass, and she and she and she can uh, and she's been getting all this attention because she got social media, did all these different platforms where these simps can give her attention, and she feel like she, if the grass is green on the other side, she can leave you and take half of your shit. That's what's allowed to go on up under wicked rulers, man. That's not how the most I has it set up. Can take your children away from you, put you on child support, all type of shit. You see? Can be caught in the act of committing adultery. And she'll still get half of your shit. You see? That's just that's just in the, the family structure. Then you move on to the food industry. Then to the medical industry. Everything is out of course, man. Because wise judges are not in rulership. So Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1, it says, A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And we don't see any order in, in Esau society, man. There's no fucking order here. There's nothing but chaos and disorder. You see? And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, especially you so-called blacks, wonder why your households are in so much fucking disarray. It's because there's no order, man. The order the most I set up, Esau said, nah, 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 nah. The woman has all the power. Shut up, man. You see? 
And this is why you see so many single mother homes, man. And who's leading the league, league as single mothers? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, especially you so-called black women. It's because that you think you rule over your man and you don't. Nobody wants to sit up there and put up with that shit. And that's why Jake will sacrifice you. Hey, fuck this. I'm not doing this no more. He will leave, he will leave you and his children. And then he becomes a so-called deadbeat to you. When you actually ran the man off. Because you can't keep your mouth closed. Closed. You want to usurp authority over the man. See, all this goes on in a society of disorder. You don't see this type of shit happening over there in the East. Not as much as you see it over here in the West. And once again, Esau is the root cause of this shit. Let's keep going. Verse 2 says what? As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And this is why we see the rainbow flag agenda propagated all throughout this country. To the point to where they are uh, protecting pedophiles. They call them MAPs now, minor attracted persons. That's allowed to happen because the ruler of the city, the, 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 the elite of Esau Edom, they're into that wickedness, man. But you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans won't look at us as if we're the problem. And you have no, you have no issue with these damn devils ruling over you. Telling your child that they can go have a sex change at five years old. Ain't no, you ain't crying out about that. You want to cry out about us talking about uh, when we go into the scriptures telling you we're going to have multiple wives. You want to cry and complain about that. When we tell you women that you have to be in order, you want to cry and complain about that. When we tell you that we're going to have these, these heathen in slavery and we're going to rule over them in our kingdom, you want to cry and complain about that. But you don't cry and complain that you have a, tra uh, a fucking uh, a drag queen in the motherfucking school. With his legs propped open, nuts hanging, reading a book to your child. You don't complain about that shit. You don't complain about grown ass men out here looking, looking at your underage children because he was born that way. He was born an MAP, a minor attractive person. I was born like this. And now they're putting laws and legislation into play, place to protect these people. But you're not, you're not crying or complaining about that. They experiment with your food. All type of shit these people are doing. But you don't cry or complain about none of that shit. But when we come and tell you that you're the Israelites, you want to you wanna, you wanna be in an uproar. When we tell you that the man is the head of the household, you want to be in an uproar about that. But you have no problem with the wicked ruling over you, pushing all manner of madness upon you and your children. Forcing that shit down your throat. You have no problem with that. And this, and this is why. The rebellious of our people. With the two thirds of you being here in the land of America, the most High is going to utterly slaughter you motherfuckers, man. And it's, and it's deserved. Because you're trying to side with Esau as if this man is going to give you a break for kissing his ass when he's about to come down upon you having great wrath, man. You're going to accept, you're going to accept Esau's way over the Most High's way, man. When the Most High finally opened up those floodgates of judgment, it's going to be a beautiful fucking day to see you niggas get slaughtered. Because you're sick and this is the only way you can be healed. Is by being put to death and you deserve everything that the Most High is going to bring upon you and your fucking families. So Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 2 it says, And the judge of the people, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And this is why we see so much debauchery going on. This is why we see them promoting that rainbow flag agenda now to the point to where they're including pedophiles into that. Protecting these people. It all goes back to the wicked. Esau, Edom being in rulership. The so-called white race beginning with their elite. They are the cancer, man. They are the problem with the earth. You see? 
Verse 3 says, what an unwise king destroyed his people. And how is he doing that? By giving them liberty to just do whatever they want to do. Do as thou wilt. That goes back to Satanism, man. That's never how, that was never how the most high intended man to be on earth. This is why he set up the sons of God, which later became the Israelites, to lead the nations in righteousness by teaching them the, the law, statutes, and commandments. And this is what it's going back to when our Lord Yahweh Shah returns. When the kingdom of heaven is established, all the laws that the Most High set forth, you see, they're going to be executed to the fullest. And the new society up under the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven is going to run in complete righteousness. And everything the Most High ordained it to be, all the order, is going to be set into place. From the order of the household, from a man having as many women as he wants to have, you see, so he can be fruitful and multiply a blessing that was given to to uh, to to the men of the earth, especially the Israelite man. All that's going to be set back in this proper order. And if you got a problem with that, you're screwing up your face, you're shaking your head, you're smacking your teeth. Hey, man. Hey. Shalak Rayam. Shalak Masha to you, man. You see. Bahasham Yahweh If you got a problem with the order that the Most High is about to bring to the earth, may the Most High put you to death in a grievous fashion. Ain't got not one problem with nothing Esau is doing. But when we tell you that the righteous way is going to be established on the earth, according to what the Most High said, oh, that, that's the issue. <sighs> Boy, the day of judgment can't come quick enough, man. So this is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 4. It says, Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I've got to finish verse 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 3. It says, An unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that one that's profitable is who? Our Lord, Yahweh Shai. He's coming to take these damn devils down once and for all. And all this wickedness that we see going on, all this disorder, all this confusion that's allowed to go on in the earth is going to be completely put down. And righteousness is going to be established according to the law, statutes, and commandments. Every single one of them is going to be established in the earth. And that's going to be the, the law of the planet and the entire universe. This is what the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming to set back, in, uh, set back into place when he returns. And we long to see it because we're tired of this madness, man. All this damn disorder. Just everything out of order, man. Yahweh Shah is going to fix it. And it causes and it and it and it and it's fixed by what? It's fixed by these damn devils being taken out of power. That's the answer. That's the cure. Esau being removed out of power and eventually being eradicated from the earth. As prophesied. You see? Let's go back to uh let's get Isaiah 24. It says what well, judgment on the earth, it goes into what? Let's go right here to, to verse 4. Uh, Isaiah 24 and 4 says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. You see that? Ain't none, none of the ways of the Most High being uplifted on the earth. And this is why we see everything in a state of decay. Because the Most High gave instructions on how his earth uh, should be operated in. And with the wicked being rule, all of those rules have been what? Uh, put to the wayside, man. From how you grow your food. You see? From what, 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 you, should, what you should be eating. Just everything the most I set up in order and said everything was perfect. Esau said, nah, I'm going to do it another way. This is why the earth is defiled. This is why the people are languishing. You see that? Let's get that word for languish. Languish. Right? Says what? To be weak, to droop, to languish, be exhausted. And this is what we see. To be weak, to droop, to grow to be or grow feeble. And that's what we see happening. Trees are not even fully blooming anymore, man. You see? 
You have endangered species lists. Animals just dropping dead by the hundreds of thousands. Why? It's because what? The ways of the most high are not being upheld in the earth. You cannot you cannot move and maneuver in this earth however you want to. You have to do it according to the way that Yahweh Bashmi Shah says is right. And if you don't, this is this is the result of it. This is the fucking result. Lawlessness, chaos, confusion, disorder, disarray, decay, that's all it leads to. And who's the root cause of it? Once again, once again the elite of Esau Edom, the damn, the elite of the so-called white race, the top international banking families. They are the cause of this, man. They're the ones who are pushing forth all these different wicked agendas, man. You see? So Isaiah 24 and 5, it says, Well, the earth also was defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. You see? It all goes back to the, to the Edomites. The curse of the earth, man. The cancer of the earth. Verse 6 says, well, therefore have the therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. And this goes into the time of judgment coming. Especially upon the land of America, man. The most wicked place on this planet earth. Where two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to be left to be destroyed. You see, by way of nuclear missiles, man. In the midst of World War Three, this place is going to be burned the fuck up, and all you Israelites who are still trying to cleave onto this place, as if this, as if this is the promised land, you're going to be left here to be devoured in that fire, man. You see, because a great judgment is coming to this place. You see that? But once again, all these different things, all these different. Uh, uh, things that you're suffering in the earth, all the languishing that's going on, because that's all you go, man. Go on TikTok and just see how many people just crying and complaining about everything. All on Instagram, crying and complaining about everything, man. You see, the root cause of that is Esau Edom, man, and he's gonna be dealt with. You see, he's gonna be taken out of power as is prophesied. Let's get. Revelation. Yep. Revelation 11 and 18, it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, which goes unto the Israelites, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And who was destroyed the earth, man? The Edomites had. You see, the so-called white was beginning with the elite. They're the ones who have, who have destroyed the earth because they're the ones who are in power. You see, we'll come back to this real quick. Let's go right here to uh, Job 9. I'll look right at it and still press the wrong thing. Job 9 and 24. Job 9 and 24 tells us what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, who is the wicked according to the Bible? You see, the wicked, which is a nation of people, that those are the Edomites. This is why you everywhere you see the, the Edomites, you see nothing but wickedness coming forth from that, man. Because that goes into them being what? Malachi 1 and verse 4 says what? Matter of fact, verse 3. Read this for one body. <laughs> Malachi 1 and 3 says what? And I hated Esau, which is the so-called white race. You are the Edomites. You're not white. You're not European. You see, you're not Spanish or British or American. Your true biblical nationality is Edom, 
You are the Edomites according to the Most High. So you put these different uh, bowers upon you, trying to hide from your true identity because you are you are a fugitive, running from justice. But there is no way there is no way that you can go because what the prophets are here to expose you devils, and this is why you put laws and legislation into place to uh, to come up against us because we're bringing out this truth. This is why you strike out videos. This is why you take our pages down. You see, because you're a, a as a fugitive, you're still trying to hide who you truly are. But the jig is up, man. <laughs> you see? So Malachi 1 and 3 says what? And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So the Most High still hates you, devil. Because we know that the Most High doesn't change. As it tells us in Malachi 3 and 6. And what does he go on to say? Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav host. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh have indignation forever. This is how we know who the wicked are. You see? Now when we go back to Job 9 and 24. It says what? The Edomites are the border of wickedness, right? Because wherever they are, wickedness is propagated from there. And once again, we see who's calling the shots here in this place. All these laws and legislation, these, these things are, even though they've already been on the books, these things are being, they're coming down from the elite. You see? A quote from uh, the forefather of the fucking Rothschild family. Maya Anshel Bauer, he 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 was quoted saying, he can, he don't care who who who, who uh give him control over a, a a country's money. He doesn't care who makes the laws because if you have control over the money, you dictate everything. You if you have control over the money, you call the shots, and that's exactly what the elite do. All these different laws and legislation that have been put into place, the elite are the ones who are saying, hey, sign this into law. Put this into law. And it's a it's a fucking uh oh man, it's a uh organization that goes into that. Where it's a bunch of corporations which are ran by the elite, and they're the, and they're putting laws and legislations into place according to the corporations. You see? Damn, what was it? I have the research on it, but that's what it is, man. You see? So, not, uh, Job 9 and 24 it says what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which are the Edomites, beginning with the top elite banking family. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? This is another way to know who the wicked are. It says he, he covers the faces of the judges. Who are the true judges? The Israelites. Us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the true judges. We are the ones that the Most High gave the laws, statutes, and commandments to so we can uh, judge the world accordingly. But this man, during the time of the Renaissance, he committed something called iconoclasm. Where he went and painted over all the dark-skinned images and so-called whitewashed them. This is where you get the image of so-called white God and so-called white Jesus and all that shit. All that came during the time of the renaissance or the rebirth of the Edomite empire. You see that? And that's the image that's being propagated all throughout this planet earth. You see that? This is how we know who the wicked are. Because they're the only nation that put themselves up as being God and as being the Messiah. As being the Israelites. As being the angels. You haven't seen... Uh... The Chinese or the Japanese put themselves up as being God, as being the Messiah. The image that's propagated all throughout the all throughout the world is the image of so-called white God and white Jesus put up by who? The wicked, which are who? The Edomites, the so-called white race. This is how we can tell who the wicked are. This is why before we woke up to this truth, we thought we, we actually believe that shit. That God was white, that Jesus was white. Who put that image in front of us, man? The wicked. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. 
He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is it? If it ain't the so-called white race, show us who it is. If they're not the ones who put up their faces as being the true judges of the earth, show us who did. From America to the Philippines, you go in any, you go into these damn restaurants, these Filipino restaurants and these Vietnamese restaurants. Guess what you're gonna see behind the cash register? A fucking so-called white Jesus. Why? It's because the wicked just propagated that image all throughout this planet Earth to the point to where we tell the people that the the true, we tell the people the true, uh, how the Messiah is truly described in the Bible. They, they don't they don't believe it. But this is who is in rulership. This is who has control over the earth. And this goes back to the blessing that Esau received from our forefather Isaac of having the fatness of the earth. You see? Matter of fact, let's get it. Because this just proves who is in rulership. Oh, let me see. <laughs> the stolen blessing of my ass. We're gonna get to the point. So this is uh so this is after our forefather Jacob finessed your forefather, you Edomite's forefather, out of the blessing, man. And at the end of the day, it was never meant for you anyway. You see? Because it tells you that in the book of Romans, chapter nine. That before the children doing, doing uh, were even born, before they did any good or evil, it was already set up who was going to be the elect and who was going to be the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. You see that? So it goes on to say, in Genesis 27 and 38, And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, as they usually do. Verse 39 says what? And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. You see, so he would have dominion over the entire earth eventually. And this is what he's living out right now. This is why he spread himself all throughout the earth to live in all the best places of the earth. You see, they're the ones who are calling the shot. The world reserve currency has whose face on it? Esau's face is on the world reserve currency. Why? It's because he's living out his blessing. Of having the fatness of the earth. It says what? And of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. Now how did this man get everything that he's acquired? Let's be honest man. He got it by way of the sword. These are things that the Most High set in the place. That allow us to know who the wicked are. The Most High set these things in the place. To show us who Esau is. Because when you look at the history of the so called white race. Everywhere they've gone, they've taken it over by way of what? The sword, because that was a blessing that was given unto their forefather Esau. By thy sword shalt thou live. And that's what they're doing, even to this day. Look at, perfect example. Look at what the fuck is going on in the state of Israel right now. Those people who are calling themselves the Jews, they're actually Edomites. They're the head tribe of Esau, Amalek. And what are they doing? Over there stealing land. By way of the sword, just like they got, just, just how they colonized Africa. Just like they stole this land known as America. By way of the sword, man. <laughs> because they're the Edomites. They're the wicked the Bible speaks of. And they are the ones who have destroyed the earth. You see? So Genesis 27 and 40 says what? And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother... And that happened upon the King David. It says what? And, shall, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And here he is. Running throughout the earth. You see? <laughs> Tearing shit up. Causing nothing but chaos and confusion. You see that? And they are the reason the earth is in the condition that it's in. It's because they're the wicked and they want nothing to do with the righteous ways of the Most High. Even though they put on this front like they believe in the Most High until, and, it's, and it's like that until you bring up the scriptures. 
When you start to go, act, like the uh, Elder Malcolm always says, man, everybody's a Christian until you go into the scriptures. And that's been proven time and time again on the highways and byways. It's because you Edomites don't actually <laughs> follow the ways of the Most High, and neither do you want to. We we go into the scriptures. You come up there and you want to ask questions. We give you the answer. You don't you don't want to hear it. And you know why? It's because you are the wicked. The Bible speaks of man. You damn devils. Let's go back to Revelation eleven. Come on, Revelation eleven and eighteen. It says what? And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead. That they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. And them that fear thy name, small and great. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. We just got the understanding. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We got the understanding of who the wicked are. The Edomites, the so-called white race, beginning with their elite banking families. They are the reason the earth is in this condition. And they are going to be destroyed because of it, man. Look at look at all the waterways. All of it is polluted. Fucking microplastics all over the place. You have whales washing up with fucking uh, bellies full of fucking plastic, man. You see? Once again, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of sea creatures are just beaching themselves because the water is fucking poisoned and polluted. Because Esau is out there drilling all the oil up. Causing oil spills and not cleaning that shit up. It's an oil spill going on, going on right now on the coast of Mexico that's been going on for almost two decades now. Just leaking out into the oceans. Esau is the cause of that. Chopping down all the fucking trees. Esau is the cause of that. You see? Once again, you have a fucking endangered species list. That, that shouldn't even be a thing in the earth. But it is because the wicked are bearing rule and they are not ruling according to the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. What, but why? It's because he is the fucking problem. Esau is the problem. Esau is a cancer. You see? Esau is a cancer, man. And he's going to be destroyed. No matter how many, no matter how many you coon ass so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans want to save this man. Esau is going to be destroyed. And he deserves everything that the Most High is about to bring upon him, man. Let's get Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and 4 says, That thou shalt that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon going into the Edomites, and say, How has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. And the golden city is what? Babylon the Great America. The place where everyone was leaving their country to come live, to live the American dream. People were flocking to this place. Just to get here to find out it's a fucking nightmare, especially now in these times, man. And how is this place going to cease? Hey, it's collapsing by the day. And ultimately, it's going to be wiped off the map by way of that nuclear destruction that's coming to this place. It says what? How have the oppressor seized the golden city seized? Verse 5. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Who talking about who? The top elite banking families, man. Their power is being revoked. They're being taken down because it's time for them to be moved out of the way because their blessing has come to an end. You see? Their blessing was only temporary and we're in the last seconds of it. So the scepter has been taken from the hands of these devils. And they've done a horrible job at managing the earth, man. You see? Fucking abortions and all. Man, look, man. This man has to go. <laughs> and if you got a problem with that, man, hey, may you die along with him, man. Verse 6 says what? He, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. You see? <laughs> all you see is Esau all throughout the earth. Poking and prodding at fucking nations, man. P 
put in this sanction because they don't want to go along with America's plan and come up under America's, America's democracy. Let's put some sanctions on this nation. Let's go and overthrow this legitimate elected official and put our own puppet leader in there. Let's send in our fucking financial hitmen, you see, to destabilize the economy, you see. Give them a loan, and they default on the loan. We go up and buy, buy up all the land and put our fucking industrial plants there. Economic hitmen, that's what it's called. This is the shit that Esau does in the earth, man. You see? So when this man is finally taken down, these heathen nations not going to give a fuck. Says what? <laughs> he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. You see that? So when this man is taken down, no one is going to try to help this man up or try to save this man. You know what? Except for you coon ass niggas. <laughs> And you're going to die right along with them, man. But verse 7 goes on to say, The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Why? Because this man is finally taken down. The wicked witch is dead. <laughs> you see? The earth is going to be at rest. No more fucking senseless wars. You see? <laughs> this man, he, he found out you got a precious resource. Now he's over there trying to just... He over there just fucking running, running through your shit, just stealing everything, murdering countless people. All that's going to come to an end once Esau is taken down, man. It says the earth is at rest, finally, and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. We don't see that happening right now. And that goes back to what's written in Proverbs 29 and 2. When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. So when he's taken down and the righteous are set up, they're going to be rejoicing. They're going to break forth into singing. They're going to have some type of rest. Now they're going to be in servitude up under us in the kingdom. You see? And for that first 1,000 years, it's going to be hardcore captivity for them. But we're going to let up a little bit, put them in the workforce, and they're going to follow our laws, statutes, and commandments. And they're going to be good. They're going to love us. They're going to love to have us rule over them, man. It tells you right here in prophecy. The people are going to break forth into singing, man. That just goes into a state of rejoicing because the righteous is going to be in authority. That cancer is going to be purged from the earth, man. Verse 8 says what? Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. Even the trees are going to fucking rejoice. You see, and, tree, trees, <laughs> and trees also represents the people as well. But look at what Esau does to the forest, man. What was that? Like uh, two or three years ago, he was just down there burning shit down in the uh, Amazon rainforest, man. When those trees have a, fun a, a, a major function in the earth to clean the air, then this devil wants to come and say, oh, we have... Uh, uh, we have synthetic or artificial uh, air cleaners. And he got these big ass, big ass machines set up to do the job of what the trees do. Look, man, the most already, he already perf perfected that by creating a tree. <laughs> you see? So once this man is taken down, no more senseless, just fucking de deforestation, man. All that shit ends with Esau being removed out of power. The earth being in this, the earth is sick right now. And it's because of Esau. People are sick right now, and it's because of Esau. He's the cause of all this shit. And he has to go. And he will. Verse 9 says what? Hell from beneath just means the grave. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And this is what we're witnessing right now. We're witnessing these nations turn against Esau. 
You see, and it's going, it's going to, it's going to continue to intensify, especially with this shit that's going on over there with the state of Israel and Iran. You see, what a, what a heathen nation is going to, are going to side with Russia, and it's just going to be left <laughs> America and Israel. You see that, and that's all according to the Most High's will, man. Because the state of Israel, that land of Israel, is going to be burned up by way of fire, to re to be rebuilt later on in the kingdom of heaven. And America is going to be completely decimated to never be inhabited again. And that's all according to biblical prophecy. You see? <laughs> that's what's coming. Verse 10 says what? <laughs> all they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become as weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, the worms cover thee. And this is what we're witnessing with this man's empire. It's decaying. Everywhere you look, it's in a state of decay. And it's just like all the other heathen empire before it. America is no different, man. America's going down just like the Babylonian empire went down, just like the Medio Persian empire went down. Just like the Greek and the Roman Empire went down, America's following suit. It's going down because it was never meant for these damn devils to rule forever. You see? Verse 12 says what? How art thou fallen from heaven, or rulership, O Lucifer, son of the morning? That just goes into the light bearers, man. Going into what? The so-called... what? It is the, the Illuminati, the Illuminated ones, the top elite banking family. They're being taken out of power. You see? And it's happening fast, even faster than we think it's happening. So Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground that didst weaken the nations? You see that? Verse 13 says what? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. You went into heaven by doing what? Your international space station. You see that somewhere you were never supposed to be? That's not your domain out there. That's the Most High's domain. You see that? It says what well, he's a, he's exalted his throne above the stars of the Most High. Who are the stars of the Most High? Above the Israelites. As he sit as he sit upon his horse, you know what I'm saying, in the seat of power and rulership over us. That's what he's done. Upon the mount of the congregation and the sides of the north, and the and the, and the where is that? Here in the land of America. Where the, the uh, uh, chief portion of the salvation is going to take place from. The land of the north. Babylon the great. You see that? But it goes on to say what? Verse 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. This is what this man has in his mind. This is why he come up with the space force. All these things that Esau has been doing is not coincidence, man. It's all fulfilling prophecy. And these and these and these devils are are, are going in their pride. Is their pride is at an all time high right now? You see, it says what? I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, and that's what these devils really think they are. They they think they're gods, man. But what is the Most High going to say? Verse fifteen. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. To a low condition, but back to his base estate. Because Esau is the basest man on the earth. The lowest form of man on the earth is the so-called white man. And that's just the truth of it. And that's where you're going to be brought back to, your natural estate. And what's going to happen when you're brought that low? Verse 16 says what? They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? This, this, the, this the motherfucker that was dropping atomic bombs on people? These devils? Because that's how low you're going to be brought. Because the only reason you, you have any type of power in this earth is because the Most High has allowed it. Just like he did with Pharaoh in ancient Egypt. The only reason you Edomites have been magnified and exalted the way you've been 
is just so the most I could take you down to show his power to the rest of the world. That you are no God. That you have no control. That you are just the instrument that the most I use. You see? And now he's done now he's done using you, and you're about to be cast to the wayside, just like Pharaoh before you. You see? You are nothing special, man. Never was and never will be. It says what? How did how did you shake the kingdom? Dropping those damn uh, nuclear missiles on uh, on Japan, man. Now it goes on to say what? Oh, verse seventeen. That made the world as a wilderness. Now, how did he make the world a wilderness, man? Once again, by not upholding the law, statutes, and commandments. Go look at the time lap lapse of the earth. From like 19 whenever, when they start taking photographs of the earth. And just look how everything is just drying up. <laughs> it's, it's in a state of decay. Up under this damn devil. You see? Making the earth, making the world a wilderness, man. And destroy the cities thereof that open not the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory. Everyone in his own house, because when it's all said and done, after that first 1,000 years of the kingdom of heaven, you see that first dominion, the heathen nations are going to be able to go back to the land, their, their ancestral lands, man, that the Most High has given unto them. The Hamites are going back to Africa. You see? Japheth is going to be put back in his land. You see? And Israel, the supreme people on the earth, are going to be put back in our land between... The, for that land between the Nile and the Euphrates. That's what we're going back to. You see that? The most I divided the earth between Shem, Ham, and Japheth. <laughs> and everybody's going back to their ancestral lands that the most I gave unto them, man. The land of their fathers. But what does it say about you devils? Verse 9. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. You see that? And as the raiment of them, yeah, as the raiment of them, of those that are slain, thrust through with the sword, that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass joined under fit, foot, or under feet, <laughs> she, under, under feet, you're going to be bought low. You see that? And what does it say? Verse 20, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial. Because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people, the seed of evildoers will never be renowned. The entire memory of Esau is going to be erased from the earth eventually. You see that? He doesn't, he doesn't get to enjoy a kingdom with indwell of righteousness. He doesn't, he doesn't get to enjoy, enjoy paradise on earth in our rulership. He doesn't deserve to. Because look what he's done to our planet, man. And everything in it. So this is what's coming to this devil, man. He's he's being removed out of the way. You see, his blessing is coming to an end. And when it's all said and done, he's going to be completely eradicated from the face of the earth as if he never existed. That's what's coming to these devils. Matter of fact, I don't know how long I've been going. because This phone ain't got the timer on it, but I'm going to wrap it up. This is Job 18. Hmm. <laughs> Man, listen. <sighs> Hold up. <laughs> I can't, I can't read this whole chapter. <laughs> Uh, we'll start at verse 10. Damn. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. We'll start at verse 5. <laughs> this is Job 18 and 5. It says what? Yeah, 
the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. See, all this shit that Esau is promoting and propagating in the earth as being right and you can do as thou wilt and you can eat whatever you want to eat. Love is love. All that shit is about to be deaded. You see? All that shit is about to be, that, that way of thinking is about to be completely eradicated from the planet eventually. All his bullshit science, you see? All these false doctrines and philosophies is going to be completely eradicated from the earth right along with them, man. And good riddance. You see that? Verse 6 says what? The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, which goes into his house. And his, and his candle shall be put out with him. You see that? The entire house of Edom is going to be completely and utterly destroyed. He's the only nation on this earth that's going to be completely cast out of the earth. Because he doesn't belong here. You see? Verse 7 says what? The, strength, the steps of his strength shall be straightened. And his counsel shall, and his own counsel shall cast him down. You see, th th this wicked way he wanted to live and up, uplift and propagate as if it was the right way, that's going to cast them down. And especially when he starts to try to roll upon the true believers of Yahweh by Shemiah with Shai, he's going to do, do his own self in. You see, verse 8 tells you, for he is cast into a net by his own feet and he walketh upon the snare. Especially in the time when, he, when they try to come up against us. Because yeah, how about Shimmy Yahweh Shah is gonna stand up on our behalf, man, to defend us from these damn devils. You see? And we're gonna need it. But the most has already reassured us, don't fear, I got you. Right? Because we standing for what's right, man. We haven't done anything wrong. Why why are we being demonized for wanting to drink clean water? Not of a not out of a fucking uh uh Plastic fucking bottle. Why are we being demonized because we want to breathe fresh air and eat real food? Why are we want to? Why are we being demonized because we want to be able to be the head of our households, be true husbands and fathers? You see, and have actual families. Why are we being demonized for these things? Why are we being demonized first and foremost for uplifting the Almighty God Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai? Why are we being demonized for this? What have we done? Have we gone through the earth and just raped, robbed, and murdered? To our heart's content? No. All we're calling for is for righteousness to be established on the earth according to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But we're the problem. We want children to be protected and, 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 and safe, but we're the problem. We don't want our daughters ripping and running the streets like sluts and whores, but we're the problem. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. We've done nothing wrong, so we have nothing to be ashamed of, man. All we've done is, is be obedient to the Most High's will, and we're going to continue to fucking do so. We don't give a damn about how you Edomites feel about it. You see? But it goes on to say. Verse 9. The jinn shall take him by the hill, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Exactly, because what? It's, this, this devil is going to lose, man. No matter how you cut it, it's set up for Esau to lose. He's a natural born loser. That's what he was from the beginning of the earth. Before, before, the, before the earth was even created, the most high ordained the so-called white race to be losers. And that's exactly what you are. You see, just watch how this thing plays out. It says what? Verse 18. Terror shall make him afraid on every side. And shall drive him to his feet, especially as we move on this timeline of prophecy. And he start and he start to see even more clearly that all the things that we're saying is coming to pass. This man gonna be shook. He already shook. <laughs> but just watch as the days continue to move forward and these things just manifest more and more clearly as we're calling it out. According to the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And you know what's gonna be the final hey, when he when he comes down <laughs> having that great wrath. Oh, you see, and, and the fullness of it, that, that's because he's terrified. That's why. And all he has left is to lean upon that blessing of the sword. And we know that through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're going to overcome these motherfuckers, man. That's what's written. 
It goes on to say what? Job 18 and 11. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. And that's what it is. His strength is what? Failing. That, that grip, that grasp that Esau had on the earth 50, 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago, it ain't the same way no more, man. You know why? It's because his power is being taken away from him. Destruction is ready for this man. And how do we know? We see World War III intensifying by the day. And we know what happens in the midst of World War III. Yahweh Shah shows up. The missiles are launched. America's completely wiped out with everything in it. That's what's coming to these devils, man. Because the Most High is removing this cancer out of the earth, man. Four forty one call like a bunch of y'all. Call like a bunch of y'all shot. It goes on to say uh Job eighteen and fourteen, it says what? His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. All that pride that you're walking around in. You, you you walk by the camp with your nose up at us and you know what I'm saying you're just that confident because you the you the white man of the earth. You know what I'm saying? You the big bad white man and everybody answers to you, man. That shit about look, man. That shit gonna be Zapped out so quick. You see? And it's already happening. Just look at look how these Edomites are moving in the earth now, man. They worried. <laughs> oh, they can't pay their damn bills no more. You see? Now just imagine what's running through the elite's mind. They're scared, man. He's getting sloppy with his uh his false narratives, just sloppy, man. Just, 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 just holes everywhere in all this, all this false stories, man. We're seeing through all that bullshit, and, and then we're calling it out before it even comes to pass. And it's gonna do what? Bring them to the King of Terrors, our Lord Yahweh Shai. You see, verse fifteen says, "What it shall, it shall dwell in his tabernacle." Because it is none of his, brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. Talking about what? The destruction of America, man. That, you see, this land that he stole by way of rape, robbery, and murder from the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, man. This, this land is completely defiled with the blood of the Israelites. And it tells you in the book of Numbers that the only way the land can be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein is by the blood of him that shed it. So this is why. A great slaughter is going to be committed here in the land of America by way of those nuclear missiles. You see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah, man. You see, brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. Once again, that goes into those nuclear warheads that's going to rain down upon this place to destroy everything in this land known as America. Five five thousand square miles of destruction. <laughs> you see, with everything being wiped out in it. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah before it, man. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is about to make an example of this place. And the inhabitants of it. Verse 16 says what? His roots shall be dried up beneath. It goes into what? His family tree. It's going to be dried up beneath. And, the, and above shall his branches be cut off. Because the entire family tree of Esau Edom. <laughs> you see? It's going to be rooted up as if it never was in the earth, man. That's what's coming to these devils. And that's how you take care of a cancer. When you have a cancer in the body, you don't just get piece of it out because what? It can grow back. It's the same thing with Esau. You don't leave one of these motherfuckers around. You get rid of all of them to get rid of all of them. You see? Because as long as one man survives with Esau Edom, he can bring the rest back. And the Most High is not going to allow it, man. So that's why every single last Edomite, man, woman, and child, they're going to be plucked out of the earth to never exist again. You see? Am I lying? Is this not what it says in verse 17? 
His remembrance shall not, Job 18 and 17, his remembrance shall perish from the earth. And he, have, and he shall have no name in the street. Did we not just read in Isaiah 14 that the seed of evildoers shall never be renowned? Ain't going to be nobody in the kingdom of heaven talking about no goddamn Christopher Columbus. Fucking Thomas Jefferson, George Washington. You see? Nobody going to remember these damn devils, man. Nobody going to remember no fucking Elon Musk in the kingdom. Fucking Bill Gates. Their name is going to be blotted out of history. You see? And they're going to be lumped together as the people known as the wicked. And you see that, remo that memorial over there burning across the Atlantic? That's the only thing that's going to be left of them. Talking about the what? The desolation of America as a memorial to the rest of the world of what not to be. Or what happens when you conduct yourselves as the wicked have. You see that? You get cut off. That's what's coming. Job 18 and 17 says what? His remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. This is what the Most High is going to do to these damn devils, man. You see? And for all this disorder they've sown in the earth, all this confusion they've sown in the earth, you see this death and disease they allow to spread in this earth. This is why they have to go. Because once again, they are the problem. And the most I was going to get rid of every single last one of them, man. You see? It goes on to say, verse 19, he shall not, I'm sorry, he shall neither have, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people nor any remaining in his dwellings. You see that? Because once again, your lineage is determined by your father. If one Edomite survives, he can bring the rest of them back. This is why every single last Edomite, man, woman, and child are going to be eradicated, annihilated, terminated, exterminated. You see? So they have no hope in being, in being repopulated in the earth. And these are all the words of the Most High, man. Verse 20 goes on to say what? They that come after him shall be astonished or astonished <clears throat> or astonished at his day as they that went before were affrighted. You see? Because he's going to get to the point in the earth well, we're going to be telling the story about why that land is over there so damn desolate. You see? And the earth is going to be such a, in such a, a righteous vibration. People not going to even, like, they're not going to believe it. Ain't no way it was no people that wicked. There's no way they had, people, had men over there chopping their rods and their nuts off because they thought they could be women. There's no way that was going on. And we're and, and we going to be a... Hey, because we're gonna be the immortals, and Lord, we're gonna be a part of that first fruits. We're gonna, we're gonna, be, we we've been here, and we'll be here. You see, for the rest of eternity, never die again, and we're gonna be able to t tell these stories because we lived it. Yeah, ten thousand years ago, man, that place over there, that monument. <laughs> you, you see, they was really over there. Men was really over there. Chopping their rods and their, and, and their family jewels off because they thought they could be women. And the women would know better. You had women over there chopping their breast off. You would have, oh, they were doing what? They were chopping their breast off. You see, but these, these are what give the, the little ones life. We know. We tried to tell them that, but they didn't want to hear it. And your fucking, your great, 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 great grandkids. Ain't no way, Abba. Ah, oh, but ain't no way that was going on. Hey, look, man, I lived it. <laughs> that's, that's how it's going to be. Telling, telling those type of stories in the kingdom of heaven is going to be so fucking far. Like, what the fuck were they thinking over there? Yeah, they used to eat, they used to eat swine. <gasps> <laughs> Just imagine the story you're going to be telling your children, man. 
Just imagine the stories that he's going to be telling their children. Because this is how fucking far gone this place is, man. This place is completely and utterly wicked up under these goddamn devils. And it has to go right along with them, man. Yeah, they used to put laws in the place where they could have sex with, uh, they were having sex with three-year-old children. Ain't that what the Talmud would say? That's exactly what the Talmud would say. A child three years, you can have sex with them. That's what they were doing. People are not going to believe this 10,000 years from now in the kingdom of heaven. And when we finally tell all these damn horror stories that we didn't live through here in Babylon the Great, they're going to be like, now it makes sense why that motherfucking place is desolate. It makes so much sense now. And that was all because of who? The fucking Edomites, man. This place has to fucking go. Right along with these damn wicked ass people, man. Job 18. Yeah, they used to make songs about sleeping with each other's wives. <laughs> like, bro, we could go on for days on all the wickedness that goes on here in this place and talk, talking about fast forward and 50,000 years from now telling these same stories in the kingdom of heaven to our, our little ones and their little ones and their little ones. They're not going to believe some of the shit we're going to be telling them, man. Because that's how fucking crazy this place is. But let's wrap it up, man. Job 18. <sighs> Job 18 and 20. <laughs> man, listen. <laughs> Job 18 and 20. They that come after him shall be uh, astonished at his day, as they that went before were affrighted. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the Most High. And Esau doesn't know the Most High, man. And this is why the earth is in the condition that it's in, because this man has completely gone... <laughs> What well, shit, he's been, he's been, he's born to do this, but the most high is going to make an example of his ass. You see, for the rest of the world to see, this is, hey, I was never with those people. The shit they were promoting and propagating, I was never with it. I, I set my men up to tell you what was coming, and this is, that, that's, that's what it's going to be. Matter of fact, we're going to end it on this one. Obadiah 18. Because this is what has to happen to the cancer, man. Obadiah 1 and 18 says what? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Look at that. How do you get rid of how do you how do you get rid of cancer, man? What's the the, the purest way to get rid of a, a disease? Or what's the purest cleaning agent? Fire, man, flames. Obadiah 1 and 18 says what? And the house of Jacob, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Why? For Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai hath spoken it. These are all the words of the Almighty God Yahweh, and this is what's going to be done on the earth, no matter how the fuck, no matter how you feel about it. This is what it's going to be, according to what the Most High has ordained from the beginning. You see? And so with that, man, I'm gonna end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. According to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that. I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba.